Welcome to Assassin's Creed Comet Story Chasing. This time we're going to give you guys a little bit of the history of the world so we can try and figure out what Comet is actually about. So while we were at PAX, I saw quite a few articles going around that had a suggestion that Comet, which is a game on the Xbox 360 and PS3, is going to be located in the ancient Roman times. They're backing up this idea because in 2011 there was a survey going around asking if players would like to play the next Assassin's Creed in the early Roman era. They're also combining this information with the idea that it's called Assassin's Creed Comet because of Caesar's Comet. Well, Caesar's Comet was a bright daylight visible comet that appeared suddenly during the festival known as Ludi Victoriae Caesaris, and I know I mispronounced that, which has long been considered to be held in September during this time period. This was believed to have come across four months after Caesar's assassination and lasted for about seven days, to which the belief is that it rose to its brightest at the 11th hour, and people believed it to be the soul of Caesar. The comet was then used as a powerful political propaganda piece that actually launched the career of Caesar's great nephew and adoptive son, Augustus. This all comes together in a temple erected known as the Temple of the Comet Star for the Cult of the Comet, in which there is a huge image of Caesar in the back of the temple with a flaming comet over his head. We also have an image of the coin with Caesar's head on it and the comet. But the comet itself has even more to do with the Roman Empire. In an article I found and a link that I will give you so you can yell at that guy instead of me, there was a close shave with a comet, which also potentially led to the downfall of the Roman Empire, and eventually led to the Dark Ages and the legend of King Arthur. This was mentioned by a British scientist at the British Association meeting in London way back in the year 2000. Supposedly, this comet flew so close to the planet that it offset the global climate, leading to famine, plague, and the end of the Roman Empire, and the birth of the Dark Ages. Basically, the debris from that meteor bombarded the Earth with smaller meteors, and those smaller meteors were enough to get dust and water vapors into the atmosphere to cut the sunlight and cool the planet, leading to crop failure. They're basing this theory off the study of tree rings, and during this period, the rings of the oak tree are narrow, showing a troubled period for plant growth. Well, what do you guys think? I was kind of excited about the idea of a Russian Assassin's Creed, but a game set in this time period could be quite amazing. Let's hear your theories and thoughts down below. And I'll see you guys next time here at Eligible Monster.